Jonathan Arizari, Jack Fitness. I'm driving here to the, to, to the gym here down the road. Gonna get on with this back workout. We're gonna do something a little simple today, so it's coming off the top of my head. We're gonna start off with some uh, low cable rows, and then move on to like say a Smith machine row. Really isolate that middle back without throwing too much lower back in there. Uh, I'm still nursing like this little lower back injury of mine, so I gotta be careful. Um, from there, I'll plan on doing some, some uh, dumbbell rows, and then move on to um, some pullovers with the dumbbells as well. And then last but not least, finish off with some stretchers on the high cable row. Uh, working sets, around four, four sets. Uh, we're going to do like sets of 8 to 12, and then just take it from there. Well, anyways, follow along with the workout, and I'll see you guys when we're done. All right, everyone. So our first exercise here is the low cable row. We're using the two single hand grips that we would use for the cables. Uh, what I like about this is it allows the uh, handles to open up once we get close to our, our belly chest area, which allows for a much better contraction in the, in the mid back at the end of the movement. But as it states here, four sets of either 10 to 12, get a really good stretch and pull at the bottom portion of the movement and really contract at the top. You'll really love it with those handles. Try it out. If you can't, obviously you can use the normal low cable row uh, handlebar, but this part right here is, is absolutely amazing. You really feel it in your back. Here at the spinover Smith Machine row. The point of this particular exercise is to kind of remove the lower back out of the movement, but more or less, and just really be able to focus and contract on that mid back, mid trap region. Really get a good pump on this one. Now here with the dumbbell rows, what we want to do is get that good stretch. You see where it stretches at the very bottom of the portion, but then jam your elbow up and really squeeze those lats, that mid thromboid area. This is amazing, amazing exercise. Get a really good pump and it really, really beats you down.
Now we have here the dumbbell pullovers. I really love this to really stretch the lats out and just almost force them to grow, especially underneath like that armpit area. It's an area that whenever we hit our front double bicep, that's very crucial for that particular pose. So this really hits that, that portion of the lats and allows you to really get that width. Here we have our final exercise, the wide grip as opposed to the closed grip that we normally do. Uh, these are called stretchers by John Meadows. I love this, really get a good stretch in the lats and just come back and just yank and really squeeze, again, that middle, middle back, lower lat area. Just, again, force it to grow. Everybody, it's Jonathan Nerzara, JF Fitness. Peace.